Hey everyone, welcome back to Microsoft Dev Radio, where we are talking to really smart people at Microsoft who are doing really amazing things with the cloud. Today, I have Sanjay Narang and Frank Sposaro, who are working with the Technology Experience Center, a program that's doing some really amazing things connecting cloud solution architects and product engineering teams together. And I don't want to spoil the fun. I really want to hand it off to them so they can tell us a lot more about this program. Um, Sanjay and Frank, welcome to the show. Can you tell us about the Technology Experience Center? Oh, sure, absolutely. So uh, I would say this is a unique program that EY and Microsoft are doing together. So at EY, I'm a global lead for cloud architecture and strategy. And a couple of years back, when we were planning our deal on Azure with Microsoft, so generally Microsoft uh, invests some cloud solution architects or CSAs to the customers. And that was the case uh, even for us. But we were kind of thinking, is that the way we would want? And if the regular way would have been that, Microsoft would have given us CSAs in each country, that in some of the countries that we kind of operate, for someone would have been in India, someone would have been in Argentina, someone would have been in Australia, some in UK, some in US, so all across the world. But what we were looking for is, we were looking for a much closer engagement with Microsoft engineering. And what we said is, let's do it otherwise. Rather than you sending or having the CSs across the globe, you have all of them in USA and especially most of them in Seattle or Redmond where your headquarters is there. And EY will send its people to Seattle to work along with your engineering. So that is the unique part of this program where architects and engineers from both organizations, EY as well as Microsoft, who work together side by side on some of the latest products and technologies that EY is bringing. So it gives uh, quite a benefit to both the organizations. So for us, right, one thing is because we are close to Microsoft Engineering, we get much faster access to the latest uh, innovations that Microsoft is doing. And at the same time, we're also having a little bit of edge on influencing the roadmap as per EY needs. And Microsoft, obviously, they get insight into how such a large enterprise is working so that they can better their products. That's what I would say. Frank, you want to add something? Yeah, thanks, Sanjay. Uh, as Sanjay mentioned, we have a really close partnership between the Microsoft CSAs as myself and people uh, like Sanjay. So we actually work together quite a bit, and it's just been so great being with the customer, really understanding their needs, understanding uh, what it is that we can do better to, to enable them and help them achieve more. Um, and the insight's been been great. And just the connections we've made, I mean, can't wait to, to tell you more about some of the success stories later on. Yeah, Frank Sanjay, that's, that sounds really interesting. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering, you know, from both from Microsoft side and even putting myself in the customer's shoes, what's some of the motivation for participating in this program? Like, what's some of the advantages that um, the CSAs and even the customers that a CSA will interact with or um, represent? You know, what's some of the advantages they have from their CSA participating in this program? Yeah, so I can talk to the CSA's perspective. I mean, it's just been so great. I mean, with an enterprise customer like EY, they're really vast. I mean, there's they have a, a hundreds of thousands of employees all over the world. Uh, and, you know, it's really hard sometimes to really connect with them and focus on their needs and, and what their challenges are. And with this program, we've been able to kind of bootstrap that and really kickstart that. We can take CSAs, get them involved with the teams, get a layout of – you know, what teams are working on what with inside of EY and really help understanding the needs so we can accelerate that. So the connections we've had, I mean, we we literally, I don't look at it as uh, Microsoft and EY anymore. It really is just one team, the tech team coming together uh, and trying to solve stuff. Um, so that's how, that's how I feel, Sanjay. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, before I joined EY, right, I was also with Microsoft and I know about this role called CSA because I was the pioneer of this role because I was the first CSA in Microsoft India when Microsoft launched formerly Azure in India. Now, I know the nuances and all. So what we actually did here is uh, generally uh, it's the relationship between a CSA and a customer 
is not very methodical. It depends on what kind of uh, workload you have, what are your needs, let's get that work. But we also did it, we also actually made it methodical or, you know, we made a process. We actually share a one common team project on Azure DevOps. We follow agile processes there. We actually create a ticket or a work item for everything that we are working on. And then we look at the priority and then we assign to CSA. So this is something which is really unique. So what happens is EY is such a huge organization with close to 300,000 people, right? And you would realize that so many projects are going around. So for me, as a global lead, it gives me access to look at what all Microsoft CSAs are helping us with. And if I need to kind of do a little bit tweak, okay, maybe this project is more prior, has more priority at this time, I can quickly work with Frank or any other CSA who's working in the tech program. We can update the priority in our uh, Azure DevOps and it goes from there. And I can, um, I can say, I think that's what I understand from Microsoft. This is something very unique to EY in Microsoft, not helping other places. Well, I can tell yeah, you. And, you know, oh, sorry. Like, I'm just so excited about this, this, what Sanjay mentioned about, like, I really want to just stress about the one team approach. It's been so great working in um, one backlog. You know, what we've really started to see is the tech become the center point for Microsoft technologies. So with EY being so large, what we would find uh, is customers or you know other groups within EY saying, hey, I have a question about a specific Azure component, right? Like I have a, like DevOps, I get a lot of the DevOps stuff. So they would come ask the, ask the tech team for DevOps. And what we would find is we would be able to be the conduit to connect them with um, other people in EY working on the same projects, right? To really reduce that, that um, reinventation and really just collaborate more on things. And with the building knowledge repository, we've been building up kind of all the questions and, and um, POCs and ADRs that we've been doing within tech. It really helps jumpstart uh, others when, it, when they come to us. We can really reuse the work of others to say, hey, I've heard this question before. Let me search the backlog and, and see. And, you know, if the answer is not in there, uh, we have a lot of information now. We can see at least who across the company is working on similar projects so we can really pair and align efforts better. And Frank, I was going to say, sorry for cutting you off for a second there. Um, uh, this excitement is just um, contagious. It's really interesting. I always love hearing about DevOps and modern project management principles being applied across all the spectrum of projects within an organization. That that sounds to me like a big success story. So then that leads to the next question. You know, Do you have any other success stories you can share? Because, um, again, this all sounds really, really interesting and exciting. Yeah, do you want me to take that or do you want to take that, Sanjay? I know we have a couple already. All right, so let's, uh, I would let you talk about, I think uh, the Cosmos TV example was good where, uh, and so that is a good example of a relationship with engineering where the feature wasn't ready, but something which was required for a launch of a product. And uh, Frank really helped to connect with the Cosmos TV engineering team and get that feature early so that we could, uh, you know, get, get that launch ready. You want to talk more about that, Frank? Yeah, I mean, basically the, the need was EY had a, a need for an upcoming project to do, you know, large scale data replication backups, you know, make sure everything's backed up with, with being such enterprise, right? You can imagine DR and HA is very important to them. Um, so this project needed to do that. And there was a feature coming in the Cosmos DB in the pipeline. And through the program and the relationship we've had with, you know, our engineers and their engineers, we were able to connect directly with the Cosmos DB team. We were able to get into the preview. Cosmos DB, you know, that PG was great. They understood the needs of this particular project. And luckily enough, we were really aligned. They had something in the works and they were able to onboard uh, EY and basically what happened is EY was able to test and as soon as that product went GA EY was able to ship like right behind them and start and start using that new feature um, and that was I mean that was so important to to kickstart and, and reduce time to market um, and really build a, a great product. Yeah, that sounds really promising, being able to, you know, align your own internal ship process and um, development process along with, you know, the product team from the Microsoft side. That sounds like a huge success story. So Sanjay, Frank, thank you both so much for coming on. This was very enlightening. I'm really excited to have you. Maybe maybe one day we'll have you back and talk about some more stuff. Again, thank you both for coming on. 
Thanks Thank so much for having us. Yeah, absolutely. All right. And everyone checking in, you know, this is just another episode of Dev Radio. We're bringing you really smart people. Just subscribe to YouTube channel. You get um, notifications whenever we have a new video coming up. And also Frank pointed out the hat, Microsoft Learn. Go there. Learn about stuff. There's some really good Cosmos DB modules out there that I've um, been trying out myself lately. So if you got excited, some of the new product features they're talking about, go try it out for yourself. So again, thank you, everybody. And uh, we will see you next time. Bye.